everyone! I hope you're having a great day today. Oh my gosh, I am back in my room filming for you. I am so happy that I got to film this video. Um, I meant to film it yesterday, but uh, you know, things happen. And I didn't know if I was going to be able to film it, film it today. Wow, I need to slow down. And I'm so, so happy. I'm really glad to be back in my space filming on time for you guys. This is not a pre-recorded video. I filmed this on Tuesday. It's going up on Wednesday. So technically pre-recorded, but like all videos are pre-recorded, so whatever. But it's not like weeks in advance pre-recorded, which I'm really, really happy about. So today I filmed a smoky eye tutorial for you today. It is a purple smoky eye and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I wasn't sure how much I was going to like it but it's super dramatic and something that I don't normally wear and I just feel like I needed to liven things up a little bit so I thought why not go with like a crazy eye today and I was actually inspired to do a purple smoky eye two weeks ago when I was in Pittsburgh because of Casey Holmes. I found her Instagram a long time ago and I've been following her on Instagram and I was subscribed to her YouTube channel but they never came up in my subscription thing and I finally started watching her videos a couple months ago and I love her. She's so cute. Go check her out. And she was wearing a purple smoky eye kind of thing in one of her videos a couple weeks ago and I was like, oh my god, I want to do a purple smoky eye. Why haven't I done that? And I haven't worn a smoky eye in a really long time, I feel like. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do so. And yeah, so I did a purple smoky eye a couple weeks ago, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to film this look. It's a little different than what I did. Sorry, I'm trying to like look at it so I can talk about it. Um, it's a little different than what I did a couple weeks ago, but I still really like it. It's a lot more purple than what I did, but I am really enjoying it. So if you want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I just primed my eyes with the NYX HD concealer. I prefer to use O2, but I have just run out, so I just used O1. It still works perfectly fine, and I haven't put any foundation or primer on, so that's also going to help um, mask some of my under eye bags and the blue that I've got going on under there. So, moving on to the eyes, I'm not going to tape them today. I didn't tape them the first time I did this look, and I kind of want to try it again and see if I can get a little bit more smoky. Um, so we're just going to go right in. I'm going to start with my transition shade. Transition shade. Wow. Um, so going into my Carly Bible palette, I'm just going to take this really pretty color right here. It is one of my favorite transition shades to use. And I'm just going to take it on a pencil brush. Nope. Can't find it. Here it is. And this is the um, Pro Smoky Liner, but it's just a tapered, really fine brush. And I'm just going to put this right into the crease. And then just to give it a little bit more surface area, I'm just going to blend it out with my Pro Blending brush. And these are both from Sephora. I actually really like these brushes. Um, I use them all the time. So this is going to be a pretty dramatic look as you could have seen from the beginning. Um, it's, please don't mind the blonde people outside. Um, it's gonna be all purple and then smoked out. So I'm going to go in with my Sedona Lace palette and I have this tray which is a lot of the purple shades and the first shade I'm going to start with is I'm gonna start with this shade right here. A really vibrant bright purple. I want that really bright color sort of right away and then I'm going to deepen it up. So I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm putting this all over the lid. And then I'm just going to take the blending brush and blend that up into the crease. Now 
I'm not as happy with these eyeshadows as I was when I initially got it. Um, if you can see, I, I feel like it's partly the brush, partly the shadow, but see how vibrant this shade is and I've only just started blending it and this one is already so diffused out. It's fine because I'm actually going to change the look as I go along. Um, I don't think I want the purple completely on my lid, so I am going to start diffusing it out from my inner corner, but um, these shades just don't stick that well, even though I did put... I love using the concealer as a primer, I've been doing that for a couple months, and it works really, really well, so I don't think that's the problem. Um, I have been noticing issues with these powders for quite some time, so I'm just going to make my other lid a little bit more vibrant towards the outer corner. Okay, so now we are going to go in with, I think I want to go in with this shade right here. It's about one or two shades darker than that original color that we started with. And I'm going to take this on that pencil brush that we started with. And I'm going to put this into the crease and keep it on the outer part of my eye. Once we have those two colors down, there is a crazy amount of fallout. I feel like my eyes look nuts. We're gonna make it work. So going back into that Carly by Bill palette, I'm going to be taking this beautiful purple shade right here and putting that in my crease as well. And this is gonna help transition these purples to the black. And it's also gonna really deepen up the crease a lot. It is time to start going in with the black and this part is probably the most daunting for everyone when they go to do a smoky eye. So I'm going into this little NYX palette. It's an Ipsy and NYX duo thingy that I got in my Ipsy bag a while ago and it's one of my favorite blacks because it's a super matte black and it's really really pigmented. Um, the black in my Sedona Lace palette when it blends out it goes to gray and then the Carly Bible palette doesn't have a black. It's like a greenish like really dark green black and I want like black black. So going in with that um, pro liner brush I'm just going to put a little bit in my outer corner and then we're going to blend that out. Okay, so once everything is sufficiently smoked out, I'm going to go back in with the colors and try and brighten up the inner part of my eye. So I just went in right in the middle part of my eye with this color right here. It's a little darker than the one that we originally went in with. And now changing the inner corner a little bit. I'm going to go into my Carly Bible palette and on a very small brush I'm going to take this lid color right here. I don't know if I'm bringing this way out of the camera. This right here. And just on a very small brush I'm going to put that right in the inner corner and I'm going to try and bring back that lid shade that I took away by putting purple right on my lid. And then I just have to go into my crease and blend that out a little bit. So with that, there's a really nice gradient happening from my inner eye to my outer eye that I'm very happy with. And what I like to do at this point is I like to just let my eyeshadow settle for a little bit. So I'm going to go on to do my winged liner and then the rest of my face. And then once the rest of my face is done and I go back to do my lashes, I look at my eyes and see how the shadows have settled. And that helps me determine what more blending I need to do and things like that. Okay, 
Okay, so the wings are on after a lot of struggling. So let me get all these dirty brushes out of the way. Moving on to the face. I'm going to start by priming and I'm using the Becca, what is this, what is it called? The Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I love this stuff. I started using it a couple weeks ago and it's awesome. Okay, so once the face is good and primed, I am testing out a sample of the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Um, so I have a little sample. My skin while I was in Pittsburgh was horrendous. Um, it kept breaking out. I couldn't figure out what was going on. It was super dry. So I'm trying out a bunch of new products and foundations. So I am not committing to buying a foundation at the moment simply because I need to figure out what's going on. Um, I don't have any opinions on this foundation yet other than I don't think that this is my shade and it is the lightest one so Too Faced can you get it together please um if there are any pale princesses watching this video can you let me know if you use this foundation and if you found that vanilla is not light enough for you um I tried the lowest three shades when I was in the store and vanilla was the one that seemed to match my skin the most. Now the lighting in Sephora is not the best as we all know. Horrible. Horrible. I'm sorry. Sephora, get your lighting together. Please. Please, for the love of God. Um, so I don't know if it was the lighting. I don't know if it's the product, but I feel like this foundation is too yellow for my skin story of my life. I have pink tones under my skin if you are new to my channel, so finding a foundation is one of the hardest things for me because there's... I think there are more pink toned people than makeup companies want to admit and you can't make a range that is all yellow tones. I'm sorry, you just can't. It's not possible. Everybody's skin is different and you need to have pink tones in your range, please and thank you. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm dealing with. I feel like this makes me look yellow and kind of jaundice, which is why I have a powder that I put on top, um, but I feel like the powder is too matte. So I have just been struggling for the past couple of days while I've been testing this out. Once the foundation is on, it is time to move to concealer, and I am going to be baking today. I am going out of the house, um, as most people do, but I don't know. Most days I don't end up going like out out so I am gonna be baking because it is humid here in New Jersey um, I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this horrible weather but it is rainy and hot and humid and my hair and my face are not happy about it at all once you look like you've done like tribal print to your face it's time to blend it out now it is time to bake I'm going in with my Mayron color set powder. I'm so sorry. I'm going to turn this off. Okay. So we're just going to let that chill. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. Going in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown. Okay. So brows are on and it is time to dust away the bake. So I'm going in with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder on a big fluffy brush. This is from Sephora. It is the, oh goodness, uh, light powder number 50. It's number 50. The name has rubbed off. And I'm just going to get a little bit on the brush and then help dust away the bake with that. I have seen people do this and I've also pe seen people not do this. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes. I feel like with this powder, because I don't want to rub away my foundation and my concealer, it really helps. But um, with a more finely milled powder, I used to use, I used to use the City Color. Um, I didn't feel like I needed to do that, but I feel like if I don't do it, it's a lot harder to get the powder off. 
And then I'm just going to dust this around my face and set everything. I'm going to go in with my contour. So going in, gosh, everything is a mess. <laughs> going in with my Anastasia contour kit, y'all know the drill, so I'm just gonna fast forward through this part and I am going to be baking. baking I'm gonna put my mascara on see so mascara's on and we're gonna add to the lower lash line now so I'm just gonna take whatever is left on these three brushes and I'm just going to smoke out I have a little bit that already came under this eye and I'm actually really happy with how that looks um, so we're just gonna try and get it on this eye we're just mixing a little bit of the purple and the black on that lower lash line. Just while this is still baking away, I'm gonna add a little bit more black in here. time to dust the big boy. Okay. So now I'm just going to put on my lashes and then we will finish up the rest of the face and we'll be good to go. Okay, so lashes on. Now for blush and highlight, I'm going into my Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics Champagne Glow Palette. I have been loving this and using it basically every day. So I'm going to go in with Amaretto on my cheeks. This is one of my favorite blushes I think I've ever had. Um, just really, it's so beautiful because it's like slightly pink, but it's a brown shade and it just really gives a beautiful color to the face. And then today I'm going to be mixing Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop just on this really big fan brush. So I just dip it right into Prosecco Pop and then right in oh, to Champagne Pop. And then just dust that right on my cheekbones. I freaking love this highlight. Like, who needs plastic surgery when you can just use a butt ton of highlighter on your burlet to make it super plumped? Just bring it right up to the bridge of my nose a little bit and then right under my brow bone to bring a little bit of shimmer to the eye. Okay, and now for lips. I have been loving a nude lip, especially with this look. So I'm going to be combining three products. I'm going to start out with the Lord & Berry, um, what are you? This is Nude Lip Liner, and I got this in my MC bag a while ago. And I'm mainly going to keep this to my lip line. Pull that in a little bit. Okay. Then going in with the Trustique, what are you called? Nantucket Nude. It's this pretty peachy nude color and I'm just gonna put this right in the center of my lips. Then, to top it all off, I'm gonna go all around to blend that lip line and the Tristique product. I'm going with my Bobbi Brown Uber Beige Lipstick. 
Then I like to um, spray Fix Plus all over my face. This is mostly because, especially with this area that I've been motioning to and I don't want you to look at, um, it helps to revitalize my makeup. The powder, the Stay Matte Powder, is just a little too matte for me. So this helps bring a little bit of a glow back to my face and make it just a little bit more dewy. Um, and then I'm going to do my hair and then right before I show you my finished look, I'm going to spray my face with my finishing spray. So I like to just let this settle on my face for a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead. She's at the end of her days. And I just spray that all over, giving it a good spray. Oh no. And I will be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As always, my social media, my Instagram, and my Twitter are going to be in the description box down below. And I have a bunch of videos planned for you guys for August and September, so I'm so excited to be back filming. So please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you know when my videos are coming up. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!